Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're fixing the shooting. Last time we fixed the animations and a few things, today we have to fix the ray casting because right now if you shoot the ray cast won't go to the enemy every time because uh, we are ray casting from the center of the camera or the transfer of the camera so from here and if the enemy is too close uh, then it will go maybe sideways and something and that's not what we want. To fix that, we will just start raycasting from the center of our screen to the enemy. So you'll need your gun script. If you open it up and find the shoot method, you can see that we are setting the raycast's starting position from the main camera transfer that position. To start from the camera's center of the screen, you'll need a, a camera variable. So public camera, main camera. We made this before and then you can set the main camera to be equal to camera.main. Don't do this too often because it's very uh, performant. Then we'll go up here and we'll create a new variable. It'll be a vector three and it will be uh, ray origin. And I'll set that to be equal to main cam dot, or sorry, viewport to world point. So we're going from the viewport to the world and then we need to give it a vector 3 we'll give it a new vector 3 there will be 0 0.5 on the x 0 0.5 on the y and 0 on the z axis so we're giving it the half of the screen or the middle of the screen and then instead of saying main cam that transform that position you can just say ray origin if you play the game now and pick up a weapon and shoot It will hit the enemy every time. If you take a look, every time we shoot down in the debug window, so down at the bottom, uh, it will do 20 damage each time and it will not get the different damage amounts from, uh, from the item database. You can see that it does 20 damage every time and the uh, fire rate is always the same. Whenever we tell it which fire rate or which damage to use, we go to the database and then go to the weapons and give it a ID. An ID is the variable that we created before, it's an integer, and uh, we set it to be equal to get component item ID dot item ID. And make sure that in here we change all the So the problem is we're changing this the problem is that the guns in the scene here have the gun script. So if we remove the gun script from them, it should all work fine. So remove the gun scripts, you want to make sure that there is only one active gun script in the scene at a time. And that will be the one that we have equipped. And you can see that now it prints it correctly, it just prints it once. If I want to pick up a second weapon, you can see that it does 75. So that's another problem we have, we'll have to also fix reloading because something with the ammunition is not working. That's for the next episode, for this episode we're done, thank you for joining me and um... You can go follow me on my social media if you enjoyed. You can also click a like, click the like button or subscribe or go me follow go follow me on my Patreon. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.